exclusive contract with Felu Novel Network Novel. Mu Yi. My supernatural talent this year, the god of ninjas shone his final glow on the leaves of wood. This year, the future Mitsuru Kiba has just entered the school gate. This year, Jingle Zhenyang, who had just arrived in the world of Hokage, officially embarked on his legendary journey. Growing up with Tsunade as a childhood sweetheart, he was highly valued by the first and second generations of Hokage, and has shown exceptional talent since childhood. Rising in World War II, he overthrew the three generations of teachers and proclaimed himself as the fourth generation leader, and then embarked on the path of dominating the ninja world during the three wars. Blooming in the midst of slaughter, the fiery red lotus finally burns everything in front of it. He is hailed by the ninja world as the second god of war after the ninja world Shura, and is a man who melts away the bloodstains and limits the Felu battlefield. Yuji Boban, your fire escape is only suitable for lighting candles at my birthday party. Jinyang fired a mouthful towards Uchiha on the battlefield. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Xunyang You are listening at NovelFull.audio My 16 years old In the center of the commercial street on the east side of my village, there is a long queue of people waiting at the entrance of a restaurant with a jingle barbecue plaque engraved on it. Smelling the fragrance emanating from the store, my throat twitched. Hush. This shop is really amazing. It only opened for a week and the business went viral like this. Isn't that right? This barbecue is really delicious, it feels much better than grilled meat. In a private room inside the store, a blonde lowly with a ponytail happily wiped out the last string of grilled chicken wings. Ah. Hiccup. It's so full, so full. You're too good at eating, Gangsho. Can't you leave some for me? Across from Gangsho, there was a handsome boy wearing a black practice suit, looking around five or six years old, looking at him with a displeased expression. Cut it. Who made you eat so slowly? Gangsho replied with a pout, his round little face looking a bit cute. Looking at Gangsho's proud expression, Jinyang couldn't help but sigh, by the way, what's going on with dad? He let you come to the store to eat and drink for free, and even let me be responsible for the food in your school in the future. Are you biological or am I biological? Speaking of this, Jinyang couldn't help but recall how he looked when he first came to this world. I have been in this world for a month now, and after familiarizing myself with the memories of this body, I have gained some understanding of this world. This body is named Jingle Jinyang and comes from a commoner background. This world is a world with supernatural powers, and a profession called ninjas is the mainstream of this world, possessing various incredible powers. But what made him feel strange was that this world gave him an inexplicable sense of familiarity, and when he carefully recalled it, his memory seemed to be shrouded in a layer of fog, which he couldn't remember. His father in this world, Jingle Chunshue, is a recently retired ninja, and his mother's name is Yako Yuni. Both of them come from ordinary backgrounds and were childhood sweethearts. As they grew up, they naturally got married and had children. The family is also a traditional model where men lead outside and women lead inside. Men earn money to support the family while women take care of their children at home. However, since Jingle Chunshue retired, the family has lost their source of income. After a few days of contemplation, the two decided to open a meatball shop to operate. Unfortunately, Jinyang became the experimental subject of the two of them, using glutinous rice balls as their staple food every day. As a carnivorous animal, Jinyang finally couldn't bear it. After racking his brains for a while, he decided to persuade his parents to open a barbecue restaurant from a previous life to try it out. After all, regardless of the era, meat has always been the most popular among people. After showing the barbecue process to their parents, the two quickly learned the secret. Barbecue is actually very simple. You can handle it with a bamboo skewer, some meat and vegetables, 
and then put it on charcoal fire to bake for a few minutes. With the sauce prepared by Xinyang and a touch of it, the authentic barbecue from the past life is successfully made. Barbecue is a simple and innovative delicacy that has never appeared in the world. After a brief discussion, the two immediately decided to choose a location to open a shop. Two weeks later, the decoration of the store was completed. On the day of opening, Jinyang worked hard in the store. After all, he was the economic pillar of the future family, so he couldn't help but neglect it. At this moment, Gang Ho arrived at the entrance of the store. I have to admit, when he saw a cute little lowly in front of him with big eyes open and full of desire looking at the skewers in Jinyang's hand, his heart softened and he handed them over. The following unfolding was very magical. After finishing this skewer of grilled meat, the little Loli's eyes lit up and she reached out to ask for it again. Jinyang couldn't agree with this. Don't think that you're cute enough to eat and drink for free and refuse decisively, but this little Loli is also stubborn. If you don't give her to me, she won't leave, so the two of them stood still. At this moment, Yako Yuni happened to appear. Upon learning the reason for their temper, she smiled and patted Jinyang's head, then handed the little girl ten skewers of grilled meat. After taking the grilled meat, the little girl said with a serious expression, Auntie, my name is Gangso. I won't eat these grilled meats for free, it's just that the money I took from my grandfather today made me lose the bet. I'll return the money to you tomorrow. Jinyang listened with a black line on his face. It's outrageous that you, a 156 year old kid, dare to gamble. And the next day, the little lowly named Gangso did indeed come back to the store and took out a large stack of bills from her pocket and placed them on the table. Jinyang's eyes are straight. With such a thick layer, there must be a hundred thousand tails. This little lowly is too rich. A safe little rich woman, this is. Gangso patted his chest saying that he didn't want any money, and asked Jinyang to make her a specialty dish to eat. If he was satisfied, he would come here every day. Upon hearing these words, Jinyang immediately became excited and seemed to show off his skills to you. Barbecue alone is definitely not enough. After thinking about it, Jinyang decided to add a few more stir-fried dishes. Although the store doesn't sell this, it's not a problem to eat it alone. Anyway, Jinyang will definitely take down this little rich woman. Delicious food from a past life indeed succeeded in conquering Gangso, and readily handed the money to Jinyang, indicating that there was extra food expenses for coming here to eat in the future. Jinyang couldn't disagree and immediately agreed. In the following two weeks, Gangso had three meals a day and came to the restaurant to eat every day. Jinyang also entertained the other party in various ways, and had no choice but to use his money skills in any world. Jinyang was also a layman, and of course, he couldn't avoid vulgarity. After coming and going, the two naturally developed into friends. Finally, he had enough to eat and drink, patted his stomach with satisfaction, got up and prepared to go home. He reminded Jinyang not to be late for school tomorrow, and then he brought home the food he had packed for his family. The barbecue restaurant closed at 10 p.m., and Jinyang returned home exhausted. After saying hello to his family, he wanted to go back to his bedroom to rest. Wait for Jinyang. What's going on, Dad? As soon as the words fell, a shadow threw over and took it, instantly reviving the already tired spirit. Dad, this is. I'm going to school tomorrow. Here's your pocket money. Save some money, Jingle Chunchue said lazily after making a hash. Opening the wallet in his hand, Jinyang's eyes lit up. Dad, how grand. There must be tens of thousands of tales here. Well, not all of it will be given to you, and Xiao Gangshou's meal expenses will also be deducted from here. Upon hearing this, Jinyang's face immediately shrugged and pulled down. No, there's still a part of the money for love that belongs to her. Otherwise, why do you think you have so much pocket money? Remember to make more for Xiao Gangsho, she's growing up and eating a lot. Jingle Chunchue met Gangsho on the day he returned the money. 
Their personalities unexpectedly matched, and they were both carefree types. Jingle Chunchue was very fond of Gangs Ho, so when he found out that Jin Young and Gangs Ho were in the same class on the ninja school's class roster, he began to take care of everything, indicating that in the future, Jin Young would cover all the meals for school. If they didn't cook well, just come to me and I will help you clean up everything. Upon hearing this, Jin Young looked desperate and didn't know which one he and Gangs Ho were biological to. Returning to the bedroom, he pounced onto the big bed at home, took a deep breath of satisfaction, and instantly remained motionless like a salted fish that had lost its dream. The enthusiasm for earning money by working in the store has long disappeared, and now Xinyang can't help but envy those big bosses in his past life. You don't have to do the work yourself, and a bunch of people under his command help you earn money. How comfortable these days are. It seems like I've talked to my parents about opening a branch, said Jinyang as he lay in bed, imagining the beautiful life of his own barbecue restaurant opening all over the world of ninja, and then counting the money to get a cramp in his hand. He couldn't help but chuckle. However, the most important thing now is to become a ninja. Thinking about the ninja school life that will start tomorrow, Jinyang began to look forward to it. Chapter 2 Opening of Schools you are listening at NovelFull.audio. The next day, the weather was clear and the sun was shining brightly. On the way to the ninja school, a figure was running at full speed. It's over, it's almost late. I forgot to set the alarm yesterday. Holding a bento for two, Jinyang ran towards the school with a face full of frustration. When he was regretting himself for oversleeping, a shout came from far behind him. Hey! wait for me. Let's go together. I glanced back in the afterglow. A figure dressed in a light green kimono, with a white hedgehog head and two red oil stains painted at the corners of his eyes, who looked about his size, was running towards him at lightning speed, and the gap between him and Jinyang was narrowing at lightning speed. With a turn of his eyes, Jinyang slowly slowed down his pace and warmly welcomed the people behind him when they caught up. Brother, are you also a new student? The young man bent over and gasped for breath, saying, Ah. That's right. Feeling slightly better, the boy suddenly looked full of energy and said, My name is Zaleya, class 1, grade 1. Please give me more guidance. Jingle Jinyang, Jinyang answered in a timely manner. But it's really a coincidence. I'm also in the same class. It seems like we're on our way so let's go together. Zillai was also pleasantly surprised when he heard this. Then we are classmates. Ha, we are really lucky. I was worried about being scolded for being late for school on the first day, but fortunately, I have you with me, Jinyang. After saying this, he warmly patted Jinyang's shoulder. Gone. Who wants to accompany you to be scolded? He cursed in his heart, and Jinyang on his face hugged Zaleya's shoulder happily and said, I'm the same, brother. Anyway, I'm going to be late. It seems that you haven't eaten breakfast yet, so. I'll treat you to Lamian noodles, and we can go to school after eating. Zilai also widened his eyes and hesitated a few words with some embarrassment, but under the enthusiastic pull of Jinyang, his body honestly followed suit. Jinyang is really a great person. I have made this friend myself. Arriving at a Lamian noodles restaurant just opened in front, Jinyang sat down and ordered two bowls of noodles, then began to wait. But after a while, Jinyang suddenly covered his stomach and said to Zaleya, in pain, no way. Zaleya, I suddenly feel a lot of pain in my stomach. I'll go to the bathroom first. After saying that, he took out two bills from his wallet and patted them on the table. I'll settle the account first, brother. You can rest assured to eat. Then, under the moving gaze of Zilai, he left the noodle shop. After leaving, Jinyang took a few steps forward, looked back, and made sure that Zilai had not caught up with him before running wildly. Sorry, Zilaya. Brother, I really don't want to be the last to be late, so I can only make you feel wronged. When Jinyang rushed to the door of a classroom, it had been more than ten minutes since class began. 
Taking a few deep breaths, Jin Yang, who was ready to be scolded, leaned forward and looked at the classroom. To his surprise, the teacher seemed to be writing on the blackboard and hadn't noticed his arrival yet. However, Gungate, who was sitting in the center of the second row, happened to see him. Just as he was about to say hello, he was quickly stopped by Jin Yang's eyes. The brain runs rapidly, and soon a brilliant idea comes to mind. I saw him bowing and walking backwards towards the classroom, landing silently, fully demonstrating his agile physical fitness. Under the curious gaze of the whole class, the teacher on the podium finally finished writing and turned around, exposing Jin Yang to his gaze immediately. Looking at Jin Yang's stiff figure at the moment, he said with a smile that seemed to be not a smile, This student, what are you preparing to do? Slowly turning his head, Jin Yang revealed an awkward smile. Teacher, I'm hungry and I want to eat something, he said, gesturing with his bento in hand. I'm worried about affecting your class, so I thought about going out to eat. Nonsense. How long have you been in class and you want to eat? Hurry up and sit back and eat after class. The teacher's tone suddenly became serious. Yes. Then, under the admiring gaze of the whole class, Jin Yang sat down in the seat next to Gungate. As soon as he sat down, Gang's Ho beside him suppressed his laughter and gave him a thumbs up. It's truly you. Jin Yang proudly raised an eyebrow in response. That's it. Subsequently, the teacher began to introduce himself. His name was Qian Shou Yi, a member of the legitimate Kanoha family and a member of the Qian Shou clan. He was proficient in the dual lineage of soil and water evasion techniques, and according to Tsunade, he had just retired from the top and was a powerful ninja. The introduction is complete, followed by the self-introduction section of the classmates. The students walked up to the podium one by one to introduce themselves. Hello everyone, my name is Ono Kue. My name is Nara Kasumi, and I enjoy daydreaming and sleeping. Autumn Dao Ding Jian likes delicious food. In the mountains, I like to grow flowers. Yuji Bo Jing Yan, I don't have much to like. I want to become a powerful ninja. Hinata Tsuzu likes to fight. Orochimaru likes to think quietly, and his dream is to learn enough ninjutsu. The man on stage was dressed in a white kimono, with a somewhat pale and handsome face. A pair of slightly sinister snake pupils made people feel a bit chilly and looked a bit difficult to get along with. The audience in the classroom gradually finished introducing themselves, and then it was Tsunade's turn to go on stage, swinging his golden ponytail and walking to the podium full of energy. He loudly said, Hello everyone, my name is Tsunade Tsunade, and I like to eat meals made by Jinyang and gamble money. My dream is to become a ninja as powerful as my grandfather. At first, Qian Shou Yi looked at the little princess of his own clan with a contented expression on his face, but as Gang's Ho said that he liked someone's cooking, his face immediately turned from white to black. What? My little princess from the Thousand Handed Clan has someone she likes. A teacher who likes brain teasers automatically ignored the last three words and was thinking about how to check this guy named Jin Yang. Hello everyone, my name is Jingle Jin Yang. I like to lie down and make money. My dream is to make big money and then become a ninja by the way. Hmm. Is this guy the true Yang mentioned by the little princess? It looks average too. And this dream, isn't it too leisurely? In an instant, Jin Yang left the impression in Qian Shou ambition that this person was a bastard. However, Nara Kasumi in the audience showed some interest in it and wanted to have the opportunity to get in touch with it in the future. After the introduction, Qian Shou Yi began classes. Although it was my first time as a teacher, the quality of teaching was surprisingly high. This class talked about the sources of major ninja villages in the ninja world, as well as popularizing a type of intelligence about ninjas that Jin Yang had never encountered before. Ninjas are a hired profession with the special power of chakras, capable of unleashing various ninjas and possessing incredible abilities through chakras. Chakra attributes, various types of escape techniques, sealing techniques, medical ninjutsu, 
and blood inheritance boundaries, these unheard of knowledge left Xinyang amazed. What surprised him even more was that he could memorize the knowledge taught by the teacher as long as he listened to it once, and he could quickly understand certain difficulties. He also had the ability to draw inferences from others. Compared to the academic scumbag in his previous life, he was like a cloud of mud. Did I become a genius after crossing time? Xinyang was overjoyed. In his past life, he could only look up to academic elites, but now it's his turn to counterattack. How could this feel like a satisfying word? Bang! A loud bang awakened Xinyang, and he instinctively turned to look at the source of the sound. A familiar white-haired figure hung upright on the classroom door. Rubbing the forehead that had just been hit due to rushing too quickly, Zilai also looked at the classroom, just in time with Xinyang's gaze converging. You guy. He rolled up his sleeves and was about to settle accounts with Xinyang. At this moment, Zilai didn't even realize that he had been tricked by Xinyang, and his heart was filled with anger. But before taking two steps into the classroom, my body suddenly lightened. Looking up, Qian Shouyi stared at him with a pitch-black expression on his face. Kid, which class is it from? Ah. Uh. Class 1 inch Qian Shouye's face turned even darker, what's his name? Since. Since then. I'm sorry, you're two hours late. Now go to the hallway to punish me immediately. Zilai was also very excited and pointed to someone in the classroom to explain to the teacher. Qian Shouyi ignored and said, this is something between you two. If you have something to attend to, we can resolve it after class. Now, go to the hallway to punish me. Zilai was also carried out of the door by the teacher, feeling disheartened. Gang Ho secretly poked Xinyang with his elbow and said, Hey, what's the situation? Xinyang waved his hand without saying a word, after all, this was indeed his fault. It seems like he should find an opportunity to make up for it. It was soon time for class to end, and the teacher said to everyone after finishing class, we will have practical classes in the afternoon, everyone prepare well, before leaving. Gang Ho excitedly pulled Jinyang, who was about to sneak away from Zaleya, onto the podium, holding up the camera he had brought from home. Hurry up, today is the first day of school. Let's take photos to commemorate Jinyang. Then I handed the camera to Jinyang and gestured for him to take photos of the two of them. Chapter 3 Practical Operations you are listening at novel full dot audio. Xinyang. You bastard. A roar came from behind Xinyang. Xinyang trembled all over, feeling the evil wind behind him, and instinctively turned around. Subsequently, a flying figure had just passed by, and it was Zilai who planned to launch a surprise attack from behind. Puff. The two of them missed it perfectly and Zilai couldn't dodge in mid-air and ran straight into the big snake Maru next to Xinyang. Xinyang couldn't help but look at the ground, his eyes widened. Gangshou's mouth opened in an O-dot shape, and his round little face turned red with excitement. The whole class was silent, and everyone's eyes were fixed on the ground. At the point where their gaze converged, Zilai was also throwing Orochimaru to the ground. Coincidentally, their mouths seamlessly fitted together. Zilai and the other party stared straight at each other, and it took a while before they realized. Suddenly pushing the other person away with force, turning his head and vomiting uncontrollably. Ugh. You guy. I've never been able to. Damn it. Zilai also covered his throat, staring at the other person with an ugly expression on his face. The big snake, like a snake, stared at Zaleya with its pupils fixed on her, and her face was extremely ugly. There was no trace of the high coldness she had just seen, so she suddenly pounced at Zaleya. The two suddenly twisted together. Jinyang, what should we do? Gang's Ho tugged at Jinyang's sleeve, his mouth very worried, but his excited little face betrayed her thoughts at the moment. This violent woman. What else can we do? Hurry up and pull the person away, she said helplessly a sentence awakened everyone, and the whole class gathered around to pull the two fighters apart. 
After persuading for a while, Orochimaru ignored the people who were arguing and gave Zaraya a cold look before leaving without saying a word. Jinyang walked up to Zelaya, and his enemies were particularly jealous. Zelaya was immediately excited, and if it weren't for several people pulling him, he would probably have rushed forward immediately. Bastard, it's all your fault. If I hadn't waited for you for over an hour, how could I have come so late? And now? My grandfather's lifelong reputation. Seeing Zilai getting more and more excited, Jinyang quickly stepped forward and gestured for everyone to let go, passionately hooking Zilai's shoulders. Oh my brother, you can't blame me either. I originally wanted to wait for you, but I still need to deliver this bento to Gangsho on time. I can't waste time. After thinking about it, I can only make you feel wronged, brother. Gangsho. Jinyang pursed his lips and gestured that Zilai should also look in that direction. MMM beauty. Zilai also trembled all over, his previously angry face disappeared without a trace, and he burst into hearty laughter. Oh my brother, why didn't you tell me earlier? I'm not the kind of person who can break my brother's trust. Just tell me earlier next time. After finishing, he laughed and patted Jinyang's shoulder with a nonchalant expression. Mmm. Jinyang looked up and down at the other person, as if he had met again. I didn't expect you to be an LSP, ha, huh, you'll have to deal with it later. I didn't know what I was thinking in my heart, but I walked towards Gangsho without changing my expression. Hello, beautiful woman. I'm Zaleya. Your name is Gangsho, isn't it? That name sounds really nice. As expected by Jinyang, this guy showed his true colors as soon as he approached the beautiful woman. Are you free later, beautiful woman? Do you want to go on a date together? Jinyang widened his eyes and looked at the goods. Brother, you're too brave. I dare to say this as soon as I first met. I'm afraid I don't know how to write death words. As expected, Gansho's small face turned white in an instant, and the number appeared on his forehead. Dead pervert, go die for me. The white and tender little fist swung out instantly, accurately hitting Zaleya's right face. With a loud bang, everyone turned their heads together, and saw Zilai also hanging his entire body on the wall, his head deeply immersed in the wall, leaving only his exposed limbs twitching from time to time. Hush. Everyone trembled coldly and silently placed Gang Sho on the list of those who could not be provoked. Qin Shou Yi, who was also rushed to the hospital upon hearing the sound, was rushed to the hospital urgently. Jin Yang and Gang Sho began to cook in the classroom. When they opened the lunch box, they saw a box of three dishes, one soup and one box of delicious fried rice with eggs. The aroma of the food immediately spread around the classroom, attracting everyone's attention. Gang Ho held a small bowl and took a deep breath, looking happy as he started cooking with chopsticks. Smelling the aroma of the classroom, everyone in the classroom could not help but leave tears of frustration. Looking at the rice and vegetable roll in their hands, they suddenly lost their appetite. In the afternoon, on the practice field outside the classroom, Jin Yang stood in line with his classmates and listened to the teacher introduce the content of the practical lesson. In practical classes, everyone teams up in pairs to fight. You decide who to choose and compete against the winner in the next round until the final winner is determined. In this actual battle, only physical skills will be used for duels. Without suffering, ninjutsu tools such as swords in hand cannot be used, and ninjutsu is also prohibited. The duel can only end after one side admits defeat. All right, that's probably the rule. Give everyone ten minutes to form a team and then start the game. As soon as the words fell, the teacher waved his hand and the team instantly dispersed, with everyone looking for their opponents. Because it was the first day of school and nobody knew much about it, the priority was to find friends who had played since childhood. Jin Yang, let's have a pleasant duel. Gang's Ho patted Jin Yang's shoulder and grinned his little white teeth. Jin Yang looked at her with disdain and said, No, you're the only one who enjoys fighting with you. I want to find someone else. 
In this regard, Xinyang has a lot of say. When there was a dispute between the two before, if Xinyang couldn't explain it, Gangsho would start fighting. The most sad thing is that Xinyang never won a single time, and he doesn't know what Gangsho grew up with when he was young. With his incredible strength, Xinyang wisely chose to give up after being repeatedly suppressed by Gangsho. What? No way. You can only duel with me. If you dare to run and see me, I won't beat you. Gangsho suddenly became anxious and raised his small fist like a demonstration, looking at him fiercely. Um. Gangsho, you're not afraid of losing, are you? Otherwise, why wouldn't you dare to fight others? With a twist of his eyes, Jinyang thought of a plan and deliberately said to Gangsho. What? Gangsho suddenly became unconvinced. Okay, then find someone to fight me and see if I can win. It's a deal, Jinyang was overjoyed and randomly led Gangsho to the ignored Orochimaru in a corner. He smiled and said to Gangsho. I think Orochimaru is good, why don't you team up with him? Big Snake Maru. Gangsho tilted his head in confusion and said, Is Big Snake Maru very strong? That's for sure. You see, there's no candidate for Orochimaru. What does this mean? It must be because he's very strong that he dares not choose. After speaking, Jinyang turned to Orochimaru and said, Well, she's very talented, Gangsho. Look. I'm fine, said Orochimaru, giving Jinyang a faint glance seeing that Orochimaru had no objections, Jinyang was overjoyed and looked at Tsunade, saying, then you guys go ahead and I have to find my opponent. Then Jinyang turned around and quickly ran towards Zilai, who was standing next to Kayanshi, with bandages wrapped around his head and looking extremely miserable. Zilai, let's team up together. Gangsho and Orochimaru's faces were pitch black, speechless as they looked at Jinyang's back. Zilai was also speechless, Jinyang, look at me like this. Can we still team up with you? Jinyang confidently pulled Zilai aside and whispered, Let's team up and I'll give you my newly released photo special weekly as a gift. Zilai patted his chest with a righteous expression and looked at Jinyang with righteous words. Brother, this is all a minor injury for me, so it's important to attend class. Then he ran to Kayanshi and shouted, Teacher, I also want to participate in practical combat. Chin Shou Yi looked at him speechlessly and said, Then you're injured. It's okay, it's a small problem, Zilai replied confidently as he patted his chest hard. Quickly, everyone divided the team and reported the list. Chen Shou Yi looked at the list of opponents in his hand and spoke in a deep voice. The first round of duels begins, Nara Kasumi vs Ono Kue. Chapter 4 Gangs Ho vs Da Shiwan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Please establish a seal of opposition between both parties. With a start, both sides began to fight. On the sidelines, Jinyang watched the battle and couldn't help but sigh to himself. Not only is it a well-known ninja family in the village, but Nara Kasumi's physical fitness and combat skills are not comparable to ordinary people, and Ono Kue doesn't seem to be able to withstand many moves. At the same time, he secretly compared Nara Deer singing with himself. Well, it doesn't seem like there's much comparability. As expected by Jinyang, the duel between the two ended within two minutes. Nara Deer Crow victorious. Please seal the reconciliation. After the result was printed, Nara Deer lazily walked back into the crowd and sat down on the ground. I'm so tired. Fighting or something is really troublesome. The battle continued, with Jinyang, Zaleya, Tsunade, and Orochimaru standing together, staring intently at the battle on the field. Chiudao Dingjian, Shan's Hongsi, Nara Deer Ming, Hinata Tsujin, and Uchiha Jingyan, students from the ninja family, are exceptionally outstanding in both physical fitness and combat skills. They feel that their chances of winning against Jinyang are slim. Except for these few people and the gang hand, Jinyang feels that he should be on the same level as the others. After all, they are all from a commoner background and have not been trained by their family since childhood. 
I think the situation is similar to him. He is a novice who has just started to learn ninjas. At present, the competition is mainly focused on physical fitness, without even basic skills. As time passed, only the last two battles remained on the field. The next group, Gangs Ho, Orochimaru, are out. I was also stunned by Zilai beside me, with a long chin that looked unbelievable. She. She's actually from the Thousand Handed Clan. No wonder she's so powerful. Hey, Jinyang, you're not kind. You don't even tell me about this kind of thing. Jinyang is stunned, is the Thousand Handed Clan very powerful? What? You didn't know that the two generations of Hokage in the village are all from the same clan. Zilai also told Jinyang excitedly. Kiba has three major families, Chiba, Uchiha, and Hinata. Hinata must be a bit behind the other two. Chiba and Uchiha are the founders of Kiba, and as the founder of Kiba and the contemporary leader of the Chiba clan, Chiba Masamune, a man known as the god of ninjas, stands at the pinnacle of all ninjas. A few years ago, after the battle of the end of the valley, Chiba Masamune passed on the position of Hokage to his younger brother, the contemporary Hokage. Chiba Kagami The ninja school was also founded during the reign of Chinsho Kaima. This initiative was a groundbreaking move in Kiba, which meant that the common people had the possibility of becoming ninjas from now on. Therefore, Chinsho Kaima was also supported by the majority of the villagers. Jinyang was taken aback when he heard this. Good guy, is Gangs Ho from such a strong background. No wonder you're so rich. On the field, Orochimaru's face became serious, and his brown pupils stared tightly at the opponent. There was also a lot of discussion in the audience, and there was an undisguised curiosity and hostility in Gangsho's eyes, Yuzibo's gaze. There is nothing else, just because the meaning represented by the surname Chinsho is too special. It is not an exaggeration to say that the surname Chiensho is simply a spiritual pillar of people in Kiba. Looking at the two opposing players on the field, Chiensho Ye's serious face showed an imperceptible smile. Start. With a command, on the field, Orochimaru instinctively leaped behind him, saving him once with the intention of distancing himself and searching for the right moment. Bang. On the ground where Orochimaru had just left, Gungate had arrived at this place at an unknown time. With his right fist rubbing against Orochimaru's body, he smashed towards the ground with a slight sound. Amidst the horrified expressions of the crowd, several cracks opened in the ground. What a great power! What a fast speed! Jinyang furrowed his brows and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief as he recalled the scene he had been cleaned up before. It seems that Gangs Ho was lenient before, otherwise this punch on me would probably be the result of a few days of hospital tour. Zilai couldn't help but shudder and said, this violent woman. Let's stay away from her in the future. If you can't provoke me, can't you still avoid her? On the field, Orochimaru's pupils slightly contracted. No, my strength and speed far exceed mine, not my opponent. So, Orochimaru decisively raised his right hand and said, I give up. Gangs Ho stumbled and looked up at the other person with dissatisfaction, Hey, why did you give up at the beginning? I haven't had enough of it yet. I'm not your opponent right now, said Orochimaru calmly. Orochimaru's idea is very practical, after all, he only comes from a commoner background and has not been trained in ninja qualities since childhood. In this situation, it is acceptable to lose against the children of the ninja family, but it will be difficult to say in the future. Upon hearing these words, Gangs Ho had no choice but to curl his lips and form a seal of reconciliation with Orochimaru before leaving the scene. Just as he walked up to Jinyang, Gang angrily punched him. It's all because of you, why don't we fight each other? Orochimaru is too lacking in fighting spirit, isn't he? Rubbing his slightly painful shoulder, Jinyang gave a bitter smile and said, Please, big sister, you can't compare your physical fitness to that of Orochimaru at all. Fighting you wasn't just about getting beaten up. If I were you, I would have pitched a long time ago. The last group, 
Jingle Zhenyang, Zileya. Zhenyang and Zilai also came to the scene. The two stood opposite each other, and after sealing, their battle officially began. Both of them had little combat foundation, so their battle was very simple, just a simple competition of speed and strength. Zhenyang took the lead and kicked Zilai with a flying kick. Zilai was also very flexible in dodging. He originally intended to attack the back of Xinyang when he didn't have time to turn around, but due to being injured by a punch from Gangsho before, his punching speed slowed down by one level, and he was dodged by Xinyang in time. Then the two of them started in a situation where you punched and I kicked each other, but they didn't hit each other. After more than ten minutes, they parted ways and looked at each other, panting heavily. Xinyang was very surprised. He didn't expect Zilai to be so resilient, and his physical fitness was even more alarming. The current situation was caused by Zilai's injury. If this guy was intact, his chances of winning would be greatly reduced. What made him even more depressed was that there were still several ninja families above them, not to mention a thousand-handed clan leader. Even if we win this game, the rest will be a tough battle why not with a determination in his heart, Jinyang no longer wanted to dodge this time. He suddenly pounced toward Zilai, but Zilai didn't expect Jinyang's attack to be so sudden, and he was immediately pounced upon. After falling to the ground, the two wrestled together, and Jinyang seized the opportunity to block Zileya's neck. Zileya dared not show weakness and broke Jinyang's legs into a straight horse, causing her tears to come out in pain. Zilai's face turned red from being strangled, and soon he felt a lack of oxygen in his brain. Finally, he couldn't bear it and shouted loudly, I give up. At the same time, the voice of Xinyang also came along. I give up. The whole room was in an uproar, and everyone didn't expect this situation to happen. They all looked at Kai Shui and asked him to make a judgment. After looking at Zaleya standing on the side, bending over and taking deep breaths, and then at Jinyang's twisted face with his other half supporting his legs, Qian Shouyi made a judgment after pondering for a moment. Jinyang, Zileya, Draw Chapter 5 Refining Chakra You are listening at NovelFull.audio Come on, everyone shout with me, Eggplant. On the practice field, a group of people formed a circle and arched Qian Shouyi in the center in a semi-dot-circular shape. They smiled happily at the camera in the hand of Qian Shouye's clone not far away. Click. A white light flashed by, and Jinyang took the camera. After telling everyone to bring the photos tomorrow, today's class officially came to an end. On the way out of school, Jinyang, Gangsho, and Zilai also walked together. Gangsho was going to Jinyang's house to grab a meal, while Zilai also I still remember the photo collection promised by Xinyang and can't forget it. Returning home, Jingle Chunchue was working in the store today, so only Xinyang's mother was preparing meals in the kitchen. Seeing Xinyang with Gungata and Zileya, she appeared very enthusiastic and quickly invited them to sit down. Gangsho is an old acquaintance who is not at all restrained. He chats with Yunjing Yazi about the daily life of the school today, and Zilai is also a familiar person. Without saying a few words, the three of them chat enthusiastically, which makes Xinyang on the side feel a bit confused. Xinyang, why aren't you talking? Not mom, you're talking here. Who's cooking for us? Yako Yuni squinted at her big son and said, What do you think? There is a rice and vegetable roll just made in the kitchen. If you want to eat it, go and get it. I got it, I understand what you mean. I'll go, I'll do it, can't I? Jinyang retreated and immediately rolled to the kitchen to start preparing. It's his own fault. His mother only makes rice and vegetable roll every day. She really threw him up and had to show her skills. What saddened him was that after his parents tasted the food he cooked, the future cooking tasks of this family fell on his head with honor. After a satisfying meal, my mother went out for a walk to eat. There were only three little ones left at home, Jinyang, sitting on the sofa one by one, looking like lazy salted fish. You're so full. 
Hiccup Zillai also took a toothpick in his mouth and let out a comfortable breath. I didn't expect that, Jinyang, you really have a way of cooking. It's so delicious. With a casual wave of his hand, Jinyang lay on the sofa with a salty expression on his face. If you want to eat, you can go to my shop to eat in the future, and the barbecue there is also good. Zillai also straightened up upon hearing this and said, is that the barbecue restaurant that has been particularly popular lately? Is it your family's? Gang's Ho proudly raised his head and said, that's right. I heard from Jinyang that barbecue was invented by him. Let me tell you, I'm a super VIP in the store, and meals are all free. What? Zilai's eyes instantly sparkled, Jinyang. Good brother. Look at me. Before he could finish speaking, Jinyang interrupted him and said, Zileya, calm down a bit. You believe that Gang's Ho is deceiving you. She also has to pay for meals in the restaurant. Sai, Gang's Ho, your family is so wealthy. Should I mention your meal expenses a little more? Hmm Jinyang, are you in need of a beating again? Gang Sho pounced on him, and they fought again. The result was the same, and soon Jinyang was successfully suppressed by Gang Sho. After the continuous pleading for mercy from Jinyang and making more meals for Gang Ho to bring home to the elders, Gang Ho finally let him go. Watching the figure of Gang Ho happily jumping home with food in his hand, Jinyang secretly swore that he would double his efforts in the future, become a powerful ninja, and then find this place again. After a few complaints, Zillai turned around and rubbed his hands, looking at himself with a lewd expression, that. Jinyang, what you promised. Once again, sending Zillai out, Jinyang's eyes shed tears of reluctance as he watched the other person's cheerful back. Goodbye, my treasure. Half a month has passed in the blink of an eye, during which Xinyang, relying on his strong memory, completed all the teaching materials on his own, gaining a clearer understanding of the entire ninja world and its distribution of power. At the same time, Qian Shou Yi also began throwing ninja tools such as Kuwu and Shoujin with everyone. In this regard, Uchiha Kagami and Hinata Tsuzu performed the most outstandingly. However, it can be expected that ninja throwing is already a test of eyesight, and these two have unique advantages in this area. Coupled with their family's throwing techniques, it is not surprising that they have achieved this result. What excites Xinyang the most is that after so many days of adaptation, Kayan Shi finally taught them the most basic element of becoming ninjas today. Chakra Extraction This can be said to be the fundamental ability of ninjas to master supernatural powers, and whether they can successfully extract chakras through chakra extraction is also considered the key to becoming a ninja. Generally speaking, people who practice chakra extraction for more than a month and are unable to successfully extract chakras are considered to have no possibility of becoming ninjas. If they fail, ninja schools will not be able to graduate normally, so those who fail will generally drop out of school and seek a new life. It can be said that the next month will be the key to determining whether Jinyang can become a ninja. In the bedroom, Jinyang took a deep breath and slowly relaxed his brain, recalling the key points about chakra extraction that the teacher had mentioned. Sensing the body and mind, mobilizing their energy into the lower abdomen, and mixing them in a 1.1 ratio to generate chakra energy. Recalling word by word what the teacher said, Jinyang calmed down and began to realize. Gradually, Jinyang felt his spirit slowly sinking. After an unknown amount of time, a light appeared in his spiritual world, and the light became brighter and brighter. Finally, Jinyang's eyes were filled with dazzling white light. After a moment of confusion, his mind suddenly shook, and he immediately regained consciousness. When he closed his eyes again, a magical scene occurred that made Jinyang feel. He felt a bright blue flame burning in his lower abdomen, and his entire body was continuously delivering energy to this flame through the operation of the extraction technique. This is chakra. I succeeded. Some people couldn't believe it and opened their eyes. In order to ensure authenticity, Jinyang carefully sensed it three or four times. Finally, he confirmed that his perception was correct. 
He got out of bed and ran out of the room, running to his parents' bedroom. He opened the door and shouted. Dad and Mom, I successfully extracted the chakra. The two of them, who were preparing to rest, were surprised and then reacted, looking at their own children with surprise. Really succeeded. Isn't today your first day learning extraction techniques? Looking at Jin Young, Jingle Chun Shue couldn't believe it. Is your child a genius? It's true, if you don't believe me, Dad, come and take a look, said Jin Young as he walked up to Chun Shue. Chun Shue pressed her hand against Jin Young's lower abdomen, felt it for a moment, then opened her eyes and nodded in surprise, that's right, it's chakra. You really succeeded, son. You're amazing. Yun Jing Yazi was also very ambitious, practicing and urging her husband, Chun Shue, didn't you promise to teach your son ninjutsu as long as he extracts chakra? Anyway, you're also retired, so hurry up and give everything to your son. Although Chun Shue was very happy, he still waved his hand and gave his wife a bad look. Teaching is definitely necessary, but we can't teach it all at once. Let's start with simple things, he said. He got up and walked to his desk, opened a drawer, took out a small piece of paper from it, and handed it to Jin Yang. Let's start with attribute testing, Jin Yang. Do you know what this is? Jin Yang nodded curiously and looked at the paper in his hand. Is this the chakra test paper? Can you determine what kind of chakra attribute it is? That's right, just input the chakra. If it's a fire, it will burn, water will be moist, thunder will wrinkle, soil will shatter, and wind will split it in half. And your father and I have wind attributes, and after reaching the level of endurance, I have also practiced changes in fire attributes. Most of what I have learned is ninjutsu for these two attributes. If you have other attributes, my father won't know much. After speaking, he gave Zhenyang a look of self-seeking blessings. Zhenyang nodded, took a deep breath, and slowly injected the chakra into the test paper. Chapter 6 The Name of Genius You are listening at NovelFull.audio With the injection of chakra, the paper slowly changed. The paper first had a whole layer of wrinkles, but it wasn't finished yet. Then it quickly cracked in the middle and finally started burning out of thin air, quickly turning the entire piece of paper into ashes. Folding, splitting in half, burning, which means I have three attributes. Soil, wind, and fire, right. Jingle Chuan Shui's face was already filled with joy that couldn't be concealed. He hugged his son tightly and excitedly patted Jin Yang's back. Out of three attributes, there are actually three. Plus, on the first day, we successfully extracted chakra. Son, you're a genius. A true genius. Dad, are these three attributes of mine very powerful? Can I suppress one attribute? Jin Yang looked at his father happily. That's not true. The more attributes you have, the more choices you have. Even ninjas with a single attribute have a strong presence, just like Lord Hokage, who is proficient in water escape ninjutsu and can be called the strongest in the ninja world in water escape. For such a top dot level powerhouse, the number of chakra attributes is actually not much different. Jingle Chun Shue shook his head and denied Jin Yang's statement. All right, you don't need to know too much about these things now. Let's talk about ninjutsu. How about it? Dad asked you to think first, what kind of ninjutsu do you want to learn? Bring it up and see. Upon hearing this, Jin Yang lowered his head and thought carefully before suddenly brightening up. Dad, when our class first started taking photos, the teacher assigned a clone to help us take photos. What kind of ninjutsu is that? Chuan Shui's mouth curved with a smile and said, that's B.Level ninjutsu. Shadow clone technique, which divides the body chakra equally among the clones. The clones have the memory of their own body, which will dissipate when the chakra available for action is consumed or subjected to an unstoppable attack. After the clones dissipate, their memories and feelings will be transmitted back to their own body. 
After a pause, Chuan Shui's face began to become somewhat serious. That is to say, if the clone is attacked and dissipated, the pain from being attacked will also be transmitted back to the body. Without strong willpower, it is difficult to bear this kind of pain. Do you want to learn this? You have to think carefully. Chun Shui had already explained the advantages and disadvantages of the Shadow Clone one by one in front of Xinyang, but Xinyang did not hesitate at all and immediately decided to take it. When Chun Shui said that the Shadow Clone could share memories, Xinyang had already decided that he had to practice this ninjutsu. The insight from the traveler quickly made him understand the essence of this ninjutsu. This ninjutsu may only be used as a side job for combat, but for cultivation, class, or cooking, which one is not good. This is a divine skill that can greatly improve one's efficiency. If you successfully learn this ninjutsu, you can skip cooking time in the future, and even hand over some unnecessary classes to your clone. If you fully devote yourself to physical exercise, the stronger your body, the more chakras you can extract. This cycle will accelerate your pace of becoming stronger. It seems that there is hope for being the first in the class. Gangs Ho, wait for me. As long as I learn this ninjutsu, I won't be far away from you. Chun Shue didn't say much. He got up and went to the basement. In no time, he returned to the bedroom with a scroll and handed it to Xinyang. He looked at him seriously and said, Son, all the cultivation methods for shadow clones are here. You're good at practicing, come find me if you don't understand anything. Xinyang nodded, took the scroll back to his bedroom, and immediately couldn't wait to open it and take a look. After reading the scroll once, he threw it aside, and the text inside the scroll was firmly imprinted in his mind. According to the scroll, Xinyang's hands began to seal, and his chakra began to move in a specific way. With his eyes wide open, he had a premonition that he was about to succeed. Puff. A green smoke slowly drifted past him, dissipating and nothing happened. No, I feel like I've succeeded, but there's nothing. While puzzled, Jinyang realized that his chakra had bottomed out at some point, and the original small flame had become incredibly weak, like a candle about to go out. It seems that the reason is that there are not enough chakras. It seems that the shadow clone cannot be learned temporarily. Is it because B. Level ninjutsu requires too many chakras? No wonder the scroll says it's best to learn this ninjutsu when you're in middle ninja. After thinking for a while, Jinyang decided to first major in refining, increasing his chakra level. Once the level reached a certain level, he thought that the shadow clone would naturally be able to learn. Early the next morning, the biological clock for cultivating habits awakens the true Yang. Drowsily leaving the door and walking on the road, Jinyang felt a bit puzzled. What's going on today? Why do you feel a bit tired? Since Jinyang started school, he has been exercising every day because according to his teacher, fighting between ninjas mainly relies on physical skills, so the strength of his physical fitness is decisive at this time. In addition, every day, Gangs Ho and Nara Kasumi also have a considerable amount of time to practice physical skills, so Jinyang naturally follows the flow of good. After half a month of exercise, Jinyang gradually realized that he seemed particularly talented in physical skills. In the horizontal comparison, he found that the physical fitness of those who were practicing physical skills at the same time as himself had gradually been improved. Even Zilai, who was originally stronger than Jinyang, was compared to Jinyang in the recent practical lesson. In the sparring with Gangs Ho, Jinyang gradually grew from his original one move second to being able to take five or six rounds. But this also made Gangs Ho more motivated. Recently, he has been practicing and sparring with Jinyang every day. Jinyang, whose physical fitness is getting better and better, has not encountered such a situation for a long time. Unable to figure it out, he decided to run to stimulate his spirit. Then set a small goal and arrive at school in three minutes. Three minutes later, Jinyang gasped for breath and sat down in his seat. As soon as he sat down, he lay flat on the table, looking exhausted. After a while, Gungata also slowly arrived at the classroom. 
As soon as he entered the door, he saw Jinyang looking weak and curious as he walked over. Jinyang, what's wrong with you? You look like you haven't woken up yet. I don't know, I don't want to talk, I'm so tired. Jinyang didn't even lift his head, panting as he spoke. But after Gangso became curious and repeatedly asked, Jinyang told her about last night's incident. After listening to Jinyang's narration, Gangso looked at him with some surprise and said, Sure, Jinyang. You'll have a chakra so soon, and the speed is the same as mine. It's pretty good, keep working hard. Upon hearing the first half of the sentence, Jinyang felt a bit proud, but in the second half, he couldn't help but roll his eyes. Sister, you are trying to praise yourself in various ways. Jinyang was not at all surprised by Gangshou's success within a day, because one day during a break in class, Jinyang overheard Gangshou accidentally mention his family. Good guy, the ninja god is her great-grandfather, and the current Hokage is her second grandfather. Although her parents haven't seen her since they were young due to being away on missions all year round, this background is definitely the second generation of the Kiba official, a character that no one dares to provoke even when walking horizontally in the village. Upon learning this news, Jinyang was shocked for quite some time. With such a background and the legendary ninja bloodline of Tsunadu, his talent was undoubtedly beyond doubt. He could refine chakras in one day. Even if it's an hour, he's not surprised. Gangs Ho frowned for a moment and asked, Jinyang, did you spend a long time refining chakra yesterday? Seeing him nod, Gangs Ho suddenly realized and said to Jinyang with a hint of anger, Oh my, you've been practicing for too long and your body can't bear it. It's strange if you're not tired from practicing like this. After hearing the explanation from Gangs Ho, Jinyang finally understood one thing. Refining chakras also requires moderation, because chakras are a mixture of physical and mental energy. If they continue to be refined, excessive energy loss in the body can lead to nutrient deficiency in cells throughout the body, and even cause aging and death. It is normal for the body to feel fatigued from this perspective. The essence of extracting chakras is to extract energy from cells throughout the body, does this mean that this behavior will cause damage to cells? which leads to premature development of the body. Premature aging. Will not the final lifespan be affected? Startled by this speculation, Jinyang suddenly became somewhat worried. Chapter 7. Free Body Technique. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After Jinyang told Gangsho about her conjecture, she was also startled. No way, Jinyang. Refining chakras can also make people age. Jinyang is not very sure, but isn't there a master's plan? This contemporary Hokage master is a renowned genius in inventing ninjutsu. Let her go home and ask for clarification. Jinyang expressed his idea and Gang's Ho decisively agreed, saying that he would ask second grandpa when he came home tonight, after all, aging is a very scary thing for a girl. Jinyang also made a secret decision and it would be better to refine chakra less in the future. It seems that we will focus on developing physical skills in the future. It was time for class soon, and Qian Shouyi walked into the classroom on time. Everyone below stared at him with a slightly fiery gaze. There is nothing else, just because today we will officially start teaching ninjutsu. With a light cough, Qian Shui's deep voice rang out. Classmates, I believe everyone has also tried to extract chakra yesterday. Don't worry, it's normal for you to not be able to sense chakra for a while. Just remember the trick I mentioned, and I believe that one day you will be able to successfully extract chakra. After possessing the chakra, we need to use it as a medium to activate it through specific binding, in order to release it, which is what teachers often refer to as ninjutsu. Today, the teacher will talk to you about the three most basic ninja techniques that ninjas need to master. The Three Body Technique Three Body Technique is a general term for stunt doubles, clone techniques, and transformation techniques. They are the ninjutsu that we first mastered as ninjas, and in the graduation exam, Three Body Technique is the basis for our exams. 
First, let me introduce these three types of ninjutsu, the double technique. Its principle is that the performer creates an illusion on the opponent, and the performer is replaced by items they carry with them. The opponent will assume that the item in front of them is the performer themselves. The most common way to replace items is to use the wood carried in the ceiling scroll. Transformation technique, calling chakra to simulate the shape of the object to be changed, and being attacked during the casting process will render the change ineffective. The clone technique allows for the separation of clones to assist in combat, which will dissipate when hit. Jinyan listened attentively to the teacher's explanation, his brain racing and firmly imprinting all the content he explained in his mind. A clone. It sounds like no shadow clone is powerful, but the transformation technique is quite interesting. Practice it more when you have time, and the double technique can create illusions. Is it an illusion technique? This is also quite interesting. Go chop wood at night. After the teacher finished explaining, he immediately finished class and left a sentence. Today, everyone is free to practice and then leave. Jinyang arrived at the training ground and made an appointment to practice the three-body technique with Gang's Ho Zilai and the others. Watching Jinyang and Gang's Ho carefully understand the practice techniques of the three-body technique, Zilai also yawned in boredom. Jinyang, why are you so serious? We don't have chakras now. It's not too late to practice until we successfully extract them. Gangs Ho Bai glanced at Zilai and said, Cut, you think everyone is just as stupid as you. Jinyang succeeded yesterday, okay. Go and go, if you don't want to practice, just stay and don't disturb our practice. Ah. Zilai couldn't believe it and dug out his ear, looking at Jinyang in shock. Jinyang gave a mysterious smile, imprinted his hands, and shouted, transformation technique. A white smoke protruded, and as the smoke dissipated, Jinyang's figure had already disappeared. Instead, he was replaced by a tall figure, with a dark green vest, a face carved like a knife, and a majestic expression of being a role model between his eyebrows. It was their teacher. Kayanshui. You, you, pointed to, Kayanshui's face, stuttering since then, Jinyang. Kayanshui gave a fierce smile and strode up to Zileya, shouting loudly. Zilai. It's class time now, who made you come here to play around? Hurry up and get back to class. This throat not only startled Zilai but also made other classmates who were still practicing the three-body technique tremble together. Looking back, okay. Why is the teacher here? Upon hearing the teacher's words, a hint of doubt flashed in everyone's minds. Didn't they just say we were allowed to move freely? Why did they turn their backs now? Is the teacher getting old and suffering from senile dementia? Ha ha ha, Jinyang, you're scaring them to death. Gang's ho next to, Kayan Shui, bent down and covered his stomach, laughing out loud. Everyone suddenly realized that this was not Kayan Shui, it turned out to be Jinyang pretending. Jinyang has learned the transformation technique. Didn't I just teach chakra refining yesterday and succeed today? This is less than a day, isn't it? Everyone was amazed as they looked at the figure beside Gangsho. They successfully refined chakra within a day and mastered the three-body technique. Is Jinyang so talented? Looking at Jinyang, who was surrounded by a crowd, on a large tree not far away, Nara deer were chirping, and in the mountains, Ding Jian and Autumn Dao were sitting on the branches eating snacks. In a slightly surprised tone, Shan Zhongxi said, Jinyang is really amazing. He's only been exposed to ninjutsu for the first time. He learned it so quickly and his talent is also excellent. Ding Jian gulped down on the potato chips, his tone echoing vaguely. Mmm, but Jinyang's cooking skills are even better. I went to his barbecue restaurant for a meal, and the taste was really delicious. It's just too expensive, I can't go there every day, Sai. Lu Ming glanced at his friend and said helplessly, I've been to this store too, and the price is very reasonable. It's just that you might think it's expensive if you eat too much, Ding Jian. Whoosh whoosh. Three broken winds came, 
followed by three swords steadily hitting the target at the three wooden stakes in the front row. Standing in front of the wooden stake was a young man of about five or six years old, with black hair and pupils. He looked at his recent masterpiece and clapped his hands in satisfaction. Listening to the cheers of the nearby crowd, Yuji Bo Jinyan showed a proud smile. Jinyang. It's interesting. On the other side of the training ground, a young man wearing a white kimono, short black hair, and pure white pupils was conducting training with a serious expression on his face. Bang! 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 A series of collisions rang out one after another, and the wooden figure in front of the young man was slapped with his palms. After more than ten minutes of continuous slapping, the young man finally stopped. Cheers echoed in her ears, and a fervent light flashed in Hinata Tsu's eyes. Jin Yang, it seems he will be a good opponent. It has been two hours since Chihiro returned to the classroom again. I said there seems to be something wrong, it turns out that I forgot to take the textbook with me. Returning to the podium and picking up the textbook, as I was about to leave, my heart twitched slightly. I don't know how those kids are doing, let's take a look before we leave. Chen Shou Yi came to the window and looked out at the training ground not far away. Well, not bad, it seems everyone is practicing well. However, these children are still a bit unable to turn. It's okay to practice throwing ninja tools without chakra. What's the point of wasting time on this? Wait, did I misread? Suddenly, as if seeing something, Chen Shou Yi wiped his eyes with uncertainty and looked into the distance again. Chapter 8 Attention from Hokage You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the training ground, the crowd surged and surrounded everyone in groups. Hurry up, Jin Yang, don't become the thousand-handed wild teacher anymore. He looks too rigid, turn into a handsome guy and show us. A handsome guy. Why can't he be a beautiful woman? Hey. Brother, you have some ideas. Jin Yang, who was being watched by the strong crowd, showed no fear on his face and crossed his waist with his hands. He smiled arrogantly and said, you guys are too creative. What's the fun of transforming into someone else? I'll make it more interesting for you. Everyone cheered in unison. Jin Yang's gaze turned, and finally his gaze locked on Zaleya beside him. He chuckled at him, causing Zaleya's back to shiver. Hey, Jin Yang, what are you doing? Don't worry, Zaleya. You must like what I'm going to change next, brother, and it's the kind you really like, said Jin Yang, blinking at him. After thinking for a moment, Zilai seemed to understand something, his eyes shining brightly, and he eagerly looked at Jin Yang and asked, is that that kind of thing? After receiving a positive nod from Jin Yang, Zilai was immediately prepared and stared ahead without blinking, afraid of missing any important details. A thick white smoke rose up, and as the smoke slowly drifted away, what appeared in front of everyone was a body without any trace, with skin as white as jade. In addition to the head being covered by the thick fog, there were also several white smoke surrounding important parts of the moving body. Amidst the smoke, it gave people infinite imagination. Puff. The children present were all five or six years old, who had witnessed such a scene before. They all opened their mouths wide, their thinking stagnated, and even the slowly flowing blood from their noses seemed unaware. Among them, Zillai also had the greatest reaction. His nose sprayed blood uncontrollably, flowing down to the ground like a waterfall. However, he remained motionless as if unaffected, staring in front of him without blinking, as if admiring some peerless masterpiece. But what gave them even more infinite imagination was that the thick smoke covering their heads in front of them began to slowly drift away. Unconsciously, everyone began to fantasize that even with such a perfect figure, it was impossible to imagine how stunning their face would be. The smoke finally dissipated completely, revealing the true face hidden within it. Puff. The sound of falling to the ground echoed one after another, and the crowd surrounding them all fell to the ground, their heads lowered, their hands propped up in despair, and they murmured incessantly to themselves. 
My eyes, my eyes, they're almost blind. Not far away from the big tree, Nara Kasumi and three others were frightened by this scene and fell off the tree. The three of them knelt on the ground, their faces turned pale with iron. Jinyang, this guy. Is too I dot catching. I feel like I'll have nightmares while sleeping today. The potato chips in my hand suddenly lose their flavor. They are not the most miserable yet. I'm so foolish to believe this bastard's nonsense. It's over, my life has lost hope. This was a cry of despair from Zillai. In the center of the crowd, with the head of the thousand-handed wild teacher, someone with a fiery figure seemed unaware, still admiring their own heart with a certain quality. How about it? This is the derivative technique of my self-created transformation technique. The art of human demons. Isn't it very powerful, ha ha ha. Yeah, very impressive, really impressive. Ha ha ha, do you still have vision, brother? Old. Teacher. With a proud turn, another wild face appeared in front of him. Jinyang trembled with fear as he watched his teacher's originally dark face completely carbonize, with white smoke even rising from his head. Knowing something was amiss, he ran away. Dong. Before taking two steps, Jinyang was hit hard on the head. After being attacked, his transformation technique dissipated uncontrollably, revealing his original appearance. What kind of ghost ninjutsu did you invent? You're not allowed to use it anymore. Also, write me a 5,000 word check after school and submit it to me on time tomorrow. Do you understand? Qian Shou Yi roared with a black face spit stars splattered all over his face, but Chen Yang dared not move. His head was bulging with a big bump, and he lowered his head repeatedly. Qian Shou Yi left with a dark face. Before Xin Yang could catch his breath, he turned around and in an instant, dozens of pairs of green eyes surrounded him. Brothers, what are you doing here? I was just joking with everyone, don't. Don't slap your face. On the way home from school, Jin Yang was covered in a big bag on his head and covered in countless footprints, limping and being supported by gangs Hozilai. You deserve it, who made you invent that boring ninjutsu? Gungate looked still angry, obviously still holding on to the past training ground. Alas, it's my fault. I just wanted to prank Zelaya, but I didn't expect the teacher to keep peeking. I miscalculated, damn it. Recalling the transformation of Xinyang before, Zilai's face turned pale and he felt a bit nauseous. You won, big brother. Can't I call you big brother? Please don't use this ninjutsu in front of me in the future, please. Wearing soft clothing on his mouth, he secretly swore to himself that he would practice more when he returned, and that he must have chakra as soon as possible, and then use his transformation technique to trick Xinyang. Hmm. What is Zileya laughing at? Looking at Zilai, he didn't know what was on his mind and let out a strange laugh. Jinyang inexplicably felt a chill coming from his back. In the center of the wooden leaves, there is a mansion that looks very imposing. Inside the mansion, a black-haired man in a light blue robe is sitting in the living room eating snacks, with an exceptionally bold eating posture. Beside him is a beautiful woman with red long hair and elegant demeanor. Mido, why haven't Xiao Jiang come back yet? I'm almost starving. I think you're just the food brought back by hungry Xiao Jiang, Vortex Mido looked at her husband helplessly. After being married for so many years, she knew exactly what the other person was thinking. It was just that the family was getting tired of the food, but that kid from the Chunchue family had really good craftsmanship. The food he made, called stir-fried dishes, was really delicious and even couldn't forget it when he ate it in the open. Wait a little longer, you should be back soon. Sure enough, as soon as the words fell, there was a commotion outside the door. Clack. Pushing open the door with force, Gangs Ho ran back to the living room. As soon as he placed the lunch box in his hand on the table, he saw his grandfather suddenly come to his senses. His hands were incredibly fast, and in the blink of an eye, three lunch boxes were opened and neatly placed on the table. 
After smelling the aroma of the food with intoxication, he exclaimed. The aroma is still as usual. Eh. There are seafood fried rice today. Are they all for me? Then I'm welcome. After patting the pillar in frustration, Mito reminded him, don't just focus on eating yourself. It's time to remind Kazuma to go home and eat. I patted my forehead between the pillars and suddenly realized. After a while, a sound came from the room, and then a man wearing blue armor, silver hair shawl and a cold face appeared in front of the three people. Gangsho was not surprised, and shouted. Second grandpa, come here to eat quickly, or the seafood fried rice will be robbed by grandpa. Qianxiu Zhu Jian, who was burying his head in picking rice, suddenly stopped moving and smiled awkwardly at the others, revealing his face covered in rice grains. The three of Zhu Jian were eating while listening to Gangsho talk about what happened at school today. When they heard the unique ninjutsu thunder invented by Xinyang and flipped through the crowd, they all laughed loudly, especially after Xinyang was caught by the victim at the scene. Ha ha ha, Xinyang is really interesting, the art of human demons. He really dares to think. Mito silently drank a cup of tea without saying a word. The cold and stern face curved slightly in Qianxiu's mouth, and he said to Gangsho, Xiao Jiang, you and Xinyang have known each other for quite some time. Let's invite him to play at home another day. I also want to see this child. Upon hearing these words, Zhu Jian also echoed in agreement. Right, 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 Xiao Gang, bring that kid back and take a look. It would be even better if he could cook on sight. If he could satisfy grandpa, it wouldn't be a problem to teach that kid a few tricks, huh? I'm also quite interested in Xiao Gang's friends, so it's good to take them home and have a look. After listening, Gang Ho patted his chest and made a promise, stating that he would definitely bring the person there tomorrow. Thinking of Xinyang, Gang Ho suddenly seemed to remember something and quickly asked second grandpa the question Xinyang had mentioned in the morning. After pondering for a moment, Qian Shou replied, Xinyang is right. Extracting chakras can indeed lead to premature aging and even death in the body. Ah, wouldn't I age earlier? I don't want it, Grandpa Air. Please help me think of a way. Upon hearing this, Gangs Ho became anxious and stepped forward, tightly embracing the door, constantly pleading. Fei Jian looked helplessly at his granddaughter and said that he had no other options at the moment. He could only solve this problem by controlling the extraction time. Once his body reached a mature stage, he would no longer have such concerns. In fact, it has been widely recognized that extracting chakras can affect a person's lifespan, but he cannot think of any solution. After all, ninjas rely on chakras to activate ninjutsu. If they give up chakras because of this, they cannot be called ninjas. As for Xiao Zhang's concern about aging, although he has no solution, it does not mean that others do not. Xiao Zhang, you can ask your grandmother about this. She might have a way to solve it. Looking at the watery eyes that Tsunado looked at, Mito smiled brightly. Xiao Zhang, do you want to learn grandma's sealing technique? Gangshou's face stiffened, as if she was about to cry. For no other reason, just a year ago, in order to cultivate Gangshou's interest in sealing, Vortex Mito gave her a bunch of basic sealing scrolls to show her. Inside were filled with various symbol formulas that needed her to memorize one by one, as well as various strange arrangements and combinations. She had already seen her head grow bigger, but in just a short week, Gang Ho cried out and gave up studying. Seeing Gang Sho's expression, Mito no longer teased her, Grandma, there is a sealing technique here that is not very difficult. As long as you master it, you can solve Xiao Jiang's problem. Tsunade didn't have time to be happy, so Mito continued, but you don't need this ninjutsu mini-program yet. You can only use it when you reach adulthood, so grandma will give it to you when Xiao Jiang grows up. Gangs Ho pouted and reluctantly agreed. Chapter 9 Genius Snake Pill You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day, Gangs Ho, who arrived early in the classroom, conveyed Grandpa Air's words to Xinyang. 
So, Lord Hokage doesn't have any good solutions. Then we can only try the last one. Jinyang supported his chin with both hands and invited Gangsho, Gangsho, how about we learn medical ninjutsu? Since it involves body cells, it must be related to medical treatment. If we learn medical ninjutsu, maybe we can find a solution. Jinyang had already thought of this solution yesterday, but he also couldn't implement it. With Gang Shou's network background, this problem must be easily solved. In order for Tsunade to learn medical ninjutsu with him, Jinyang activated the great technique of Habrio. Just think about it, Gang's Ho. If you learn this, you won't have to look for a doctor to beat people in the future. After beating them, you can cure them. After curing them, you can beat them again, saving time. How perfect! This beating up the person closed loop was truly understood by Jin Yang. After this beating up theory, Gang's Ho was fooled into a daze and agreed to it. Pop! The task of finding the teacher is up to you, Gang's Ho. With a satisfied clap of his hand, Jin Yang happily decided. At the thought of learning another skill soon after, Jin Yang couldn't help but admire his wit. Teachers don't even need to find them themselves or charge fees, it's perfect. Moreover, learning medical ninjutsu can be of great help to oneself. After all, he has decided to major in physical fitness before his body matures. The extraction time for chakra should not be too long, as he does not want to grow tall in the future because of this. In terms of cultivating physical skills, physical injuries are inevitable. If you learn medical ninjutsu, you don't have to waste time seeking medical treatment, which can save you more time on exercise. In addition, the unique exercise effects of your body also require a certain amount of medical knowledge to have a more comprehensive understanding. So, for medical ninjutsu, Jinyang is determined to get it. Jinyang, you want to learn medical ninjutsu. That's perfect. Tonight, you come back to my house with me. Grandpa and his team said they want to see you and asked me to take you back. Let me tell you, Grandpa really likes the food you cook. If you cook delicious food for Grandpa, he might teach you medical ninjutsu with a clap of his little hand, Gangs Ho took the opportunity to make a decision. Jin Yang. Are you serious, Gangs Ho? That ninja deity taught me ninjutsu. Jin Yang's head was confused, and then hot blood rushed in, his face turning red with excitement. It's not surprising that Jin Yang is so excited, after all, the news brought to him by Gangs Ho is truly amazing. He is a man at the top of all ninjas, revered as the god of ninjas by countless people. And now Jin Yang has the opportunity to be personally taught by such an existence, so it is only natural for him to show a little excitement. In the classroom, Jin Yang was no longer interested in learning and his mind was full of recipes. Fantasizing about giving the god of ninjas a feast of Manchu and Han, and then receiving the praise of Lord Zhu Jian, who expressed his intention to pass on his unique skill, Mu Dun, to himself, I feel a bit overwhelmed. Although Mu Dun may not have learned the blood inheritance boundaries himself, people always have dreams. What if they learn it? He even came up with a nickname, so he called it the Green Messenger who spreads love to the ninja realm. Jin Yang, Jin Yang, the teacher called you, don't laugh. Jin Yang was awakened by Gang Shou's elbow and had just finished his fantasy when he was called to the podium. I glanced at Jin Yang in a bad mood. Qian Shou Yi still remembered yesterday's incident, but as a teacher, good professional ethics still restrained me. Although Jin Yang's invention of the broken ninjutsu technique made him very angry, the talent it revealed still shocked Kian Shui. He successfully sensed chakra within a day and learned the three-body technique after listening to the explanation. He was also able to proficiently apply the transformation technique in a short period of time. This kid's talent surprised him greatly. As a teacher with a thousand hands of ambition, one cannot help but look at him with a different eye. In fact, as a ninja, Chen Shouyi should not have come here as a teacher for the children. This is a great waste of ninja resources in the village. The fundamental reason why he came to school as a teacher is still due to Gungate. As the granddaughter of the contemporary chieftain of the Qianshou clan, 
Gangso has a legitimate lineage of Qianzhou. In the future, she may even awaken the existence of the Mu Dun blood mark boundary. No matter how much emphasis is placed on it, it cannot be overemphasized. Qianzhou Yi was sent to secretly take care of Gangso in this situation. As the strongest member of the class, Jinyang was naturally included in the review list of the Thousand Hand Clan, and after investigating Jinyang's background information, he never asked about the relationship between the two again. Qian Shou Yi was well aware of the reasons behind it, but he didn't say much, with a natural expression. Looking at Jinyang standing on the stage, Kian Shi asked, Jinyang, do you know your chakra attributes? Teacher, I have three attributes. Fire, wind, and soil. Oh! Kian Shi exclaimed inwardly, three attributes are rare, this kid's talent is really extraordinary. With a light cough, Kian Shi didn't forget his purpose of calling Jinyang up, gesturing for him to demonstrate his three-body technique. Seeing Jinyang's skillful appearance, he couldn't help but nod, feeling even more satisfied. I couldn't help but exclaim, Jinyang, you have already practiced your three-body technique very well. Next, you need to practice more ninja throwing and physical exercises. Once you have mastered these two skills, you will almost reach the level of lower ninja. Signal Jinyang to go back, Kian Shi looks down at the audience. I don't count a few members of the ninja family, and I don't know how many of the remaining children can become ninjas. As for being able to produce a few more talents like Jinyang, he doesn't have any expectations in his heart. With one last hope in mind, Qian Shou Yi spoke up and said, Does anyone else successfully sense chakra? Until tomorrow, the teacher will teach each successful student AC. Level ninjutsu. This is actually meant for children from ordinary backgrounds. Families from the ninja family all have their own traditions, so it's hard to believe that they just look down on AC. Level ninjutsu. But this is different for others. Ordinary ninjas have nothing else to learn except basic three body techniques and ninja throwing techniques in school. If they want to learn ninja in the future, they can only be taught by future team leaders or exchanged for credit. The former can only be judged by the character of the leading ninjas, while the latter is also rare, indicating the difficulty of learning ninjutsu. So Kian Shui's decision can be said to have attracted the attention of most people. At the back corner of the classroom, a figure slowly stood up. Teacher, I also succeeded, Orochimaru said calmly. The classroom was in an uproar, and countless pairs of surprised eyes gathered on Orochimaru, causing discussions to erupt. Is it really fake? Did Orochimaru also succeed? He looks cold and cold, I didn't expect his talent to be so good. I suddenly noticed that Mr. Orochimaru is a bit handsome. Sitting next to Orochimaru, Zillai gritted his teeth and looked at the other person, feeling somewhat incredulous. A random sense of defeat hit. Just fall behind Jinyang, after all, he's my good brother, but this guy, Orochimaru, actually surpasses me. No, I absolutely cannot give up. By tomorrow, no matter what, I must succeed in sensing and never be compared to Jinyang and them. Qian Shou Yi was pleasantly surprised, but he didn't expect to have a successful one. He waved to Orochimaru and kindly asked, Orochimaru, how have you learned the three-body technique? Without a word, Orochimaru began to display his seal. To Chihiro's surprise, Orochimaru's understanding of the three-body technique was no less than that of True Yang. This discovery surprised him a bit. After all, in this era, ninjas from non-ninja families are at a disadvantage. The accumulation of ninjutsu, cultivation resources, and even the allocation of teammates when becoming a ninja have a huge gap with the ninja family. Under such innate conditions, ninjas from ordinary backgrounds can be difficult to stand out. The only way to change this situation is to showcase outstanding talents during school and attract the attention of the village. The village will also allocate some resources towards these talented ninjas, and may even receive a powerful mentor to lead the team, which can be decisive for them to get through the early stages of ninjas. And in Jinyang and Orochimaru, Kian Shui saw this hope. Chapter 10 Medical Ninjutsu 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. In the evening, the Chencho clan mansion. Gangs Ho, Chencho Pillar, Whirlpool Mito, and Chencho Gate are all sitting together in a round table, and the various dishes on the table have been wiped out by a few people. Satisfied, he patted his stomach and laughed loudly at Chencho Zhu Jian, saying, Ah, you're so full. Jin Yang, your cooking skills are really amazing, and Zhu Jian would like to call you the strongest. After giving Jin Yang a thumbs up, Mito gave her a pale glance and ignored her playful behavior. Her gaze was soft as she looked at Jin Yang and said, Child, I really trouble you today. You have to work alone in the kitchen, and we adults can't help you much. Jin Yang smiled and waved his hand, Grandma Mito, it's okay. Let's just exercise my cooking skills. And when I successfully cultivate my shadow clone in a few days, I'll leave all these things to him. Zhu Jian's eyes lit up and he exclaimed, That's a good idea, but the shadow clone is not as useful as my wooden clone. Jin Yang, I'll teach you this ninjutsu. How about sending a clone to our house to cook when you learn it? Jin Yang was momentarily stunned, and then quickly wanted to nod in agreement. Big brother, don't forget that only those who know how to use the wooden avatar can use it. Even if Xin Yang learns it, he won't be able to use it, said the nearby door, taking a slow sip of tea as a reminder. Zhu Jian slapped his forehead and laughed awkwardly. So, ha ha. Ha, then there's nothing we can do. Jin Yang felt a bit disappointed, after all, it was an opportunity to learn from Mu Dun. Who wouldn't crave it? But it doesn't matter if he can't learn, anyway, that's not why he came. So Jin Yang proposed to Zhu Jian the idea of learning medical ninjutsu, and the nearby Gungata also echoed, saying that he also wanted to learn. Zhu Jian did not refuse. He nodded and agreed, then got up and went out. After a while, he returned to the house, holding a huge scroll in his hand and placing it on the ground. He looked at the two of them and said, this is the medical ninjutsu foundation collected by the Qianshou clan for generations. If you want to learn medical ninjutsu, first learn the content here, and then I will teach you the next step. The two of them looked at the giant scroll in front of them, which was even taller than them. They were a bit dumbfounded, and Tsunade couldn't believe it. Grandpa, this scroll is too thick, isn't it? How long do we have to learn it? Huh, it took me a whole year to finish learning back then. Since then, no one has been able to break my original record. You both need to work hard. How about we make a bet that if any of you can finish learning the content within a year, I will agree to your request. If you lose, you must also agree to my request. How about it? Does it sound very fair, it's a deal. Before Gangs Ho could say anything, Jin Yang decisively agreed. Jin Yang is confident in accepting it, relying on his significantly improved memory after crossing over. Not to mention a year, giving him a month to learn the content in the scroll is enough, so he must have won the bet proposed by the other party. There is no reason not to agree. Gang Ho hesitated as she looked at the scroll in front of her. In fact, she preferred to play outside. If she had to bury herself in learning this for the next year, it would mean that she would have no more time to play in the future, so Gangs Ho was actually a bit reluctant. But considering that I had promised to learn medical ninjutsu with Jin Yang before, and it was embarrassing to refuse, I gritted my teeth and agreed. That night, Jin Yang walked home floating. The next day, another big event happened in the class. On the podium, Chen Shou Yi looked at Zilai Yi, who was stumbling and practicing his three-body technique, and his eyes were filled with surprise. I didn't read it wrong, did I have another one? Although this kid's three-body technique may seem a bit shabby, being able to sense chakra within three days is already quite surprising. Taking a deep breath, Chen Shou Ye's expression was solemn. He looked at Zaleya on the stands and Jin Yang loudly cheering for Zaleya below. The last row of Orochimaru, who was focused on taking notes, couldn't help but have a premonition. These three guys must have great potential in the future. 
After class, Chen Shouyi called the three of them to the office and taught them one ninjutsu each according to the previous agreement. Zilai also has dual attributes of fire and earth, giving him the C.level powerful fireball technique. The Great Snake Pill has a terroir attribute, giving Wind Dun a great breakthrough. Jinyang asked for a soil escape. The Soil Array Wall After leaving, Zilai was also excited to find Jinyang to go out and play, but Jinyang was busy completing the gambling agreement earlier and refused. Looking at Jinyang's distant figure, Zilai also turned his gaze to the nearby Orochimaru. Although Orochimaru looks cold and cold, he just started school and but it's not his fault either. I have a lot, so I reluctantly forgave him. Moreover, this guy is still one of our three geniuses, and we can't always ignore him. Anyway, let me take the initiative. I was deeply moved by myself for a while. When I came to my senses and was about to play with Orochimaru, the protagonist had already disappeared. Damn it, this guy isn't waiting for me. Then he quickly chased in the direction of Orochimaru. On that day, the names of Jinyang, Ashimaru, and Zaleya spread throughout the school, causing a sensation. Among them, there are many people from civilian backgrounds who worship it, as well as a considerable number of ninja family members who cannot believe it and are jealous. They also came from that stage, of course knowing that they would successfully sense the difficulty of chakra within three days. You should know that a successful induction in such a short time not only means stepping into the ninja's door earlier, but also means that this person has higher chakra control, which is very beneficial for future ninjutsu learning. It's like two people learning the same ninjutsu at the same time, the higher the level of control of chakra, the faster they tend to learn, and even the greater the power of releasing ninjutsu. The most typical example is the contemporary Hokage Chiensho Kaijian, whose chakra control is unparalleled in the ninja realm, so his water escape is also known as the strongest water escape. Ignoring the disturbance from the outside world, Jinyang arrived at an empty space in the training ground, silently recalling the details of ninjutsu he had just jotted down, and his hands unconsciously began to imprint. In in su zi cho wu in hai si, earth formation wall. With both hands patting the ground, chakra quickly flowed out along the palm of his hand. In front of Jinyang, a small mound slowly rose and stopped growing when it reached Jinyang's knee. Um. It seems that chakra isn't enough. Jinyang is very helpless in this situation, after all, he needs to consider the healthy growth of his body, and chakra dare not spend too much time practicing. Although Jinyang's talent in ninjutsu learning can be considered a genius, he is also helpless due to the lack of chakra, which leads to the failure of ninjutsu release. Jinyang silently estimated that in order to successfully unleash the ninjutsu of the earth formation wall, the chakra in his body may need to increase by about 50 times. Based on his refining speed, he estimated that it would take about a year to achieve the goal. The consumption of this chakra is also expected by Jinyang, after all, the amount of chakra required for a C.level ninja is not small. The amount of chakra required for a passing lower ninja is that it can release C.level ninja three times. Based on Jinyang's recent practice of chakra, it is not long for a year that's weird. Although he is speechless about this speed, Jinyang has nothing to do. If he were to fully cultivate chakra, the time would indeed be greatly shortened, but the harm it would cause to his physical development is also enormous. For the sake of future health, Jinyang can only temporarily endure it. It's going to be another year. It's really troublesome. There's no way, let's focus on theoretical knowledge now. Maybe I'll find a way to solve this problem after I finish learning medical ninjutsu. Since he can't practice ninjutsu for the time being, Jinyang Sua decided to let go and focus on cultivating physical skills. Coincidentally, recently he came up with a good way to quickly improve combat effectiveness.